When you need to make a purchase or pay a bill, credit cards can be useful. They also have the potential to help you save money if you can use incentives to recover some of your costs. Additionally, by using credit cards wisely and managing your money, you can build a solid credit history. Debit and credit cards perform very differently even though they look similar. If you're new to using credit, there are a few important credit card facts that you should be aware of. So before you sign up for a credit card, you should know your current backdrop of yours carefully and how credit cards can control you and your future too. Are you ready to begin? Well, here we go. What is a credit card? A credit card is a real physical card that may be used to make purchases, pay bills, and withdraw cash. The most straightforward way to think of a credit card is a type of payday loan. When you open an account with your credit card company, a predetermined credit limit is given to you. Essentially, this is the amount that your credit card company will let you use to make purchases or pay bills. Your available credit is reduced as you charge items to the card. After that, you pay back the credit card company for the sum that was deducted from your available credit. How do credit cards work? Bills can be paid with credit cards and they can also be used to make offline and online purchases. When you use either one, your credit card data is sent to the merchant's bank. The bank is subsequently given approval by the credit card network to carry out the transaction. The next step is for the card company to review your information and determine whether to approve or deny the transaction. The money is given to the shopkeeper if the transaction is approved and the transaction's cost is deducted from the available credit on your card. After your billing cycle, your card issuer will send you a statement that lists all of the transactions for that month, your old and new balances, the minimum payment amount due, and the due date. The grace period is the period of time between the date of a purchase made with your card and the due date shown on your statement. No interest will be applied if you pay your payment in full by the due date during this time. However, if you carry a balance from month to month, your card issuer might charge interest. The annualized cost of carrying a balance on your credit card is represented by the annual percentage rate, or APR. The annual fee for your card will be calculated into your APR along with your interest rate. The variable APR on the majority of credit cards is based on the prime rate. As a result, even though the Card Act of 2009 established strict guidelines on when credit card companies may and may not raise your rate, your card's APR may change over time. Credit Card Benefits and Drawbacks The simplicity and security of using a credit card are its main benefits. If your card is lost or stolen, you will probably be compensated for any unauthorized charges. You might also be able to get a loan with an introductory rate of 0% for a predetermined time, like 18 months, which would enable you to make a sizable purchase and pay it off gradually without paying interest. Most cards also offer rewards or cash back, which is a free perk to use the card. If used responsibly, credit cards can also help raise your credit score. On the other hand, if you don't pay off your bill in full each month, credit cards may have high interest rates that can add up quickly. It can also be simpler to spend more money on credit cards than you can logically pay off in a short amount of time. Your credit score will suffer if your debt is out of control and you are unable to pay more than the minimum on your credit cards. Additionally, you'll accrue late fees and probably face an even higher interest rate. What are the advantages of credit cards? Easy of use, safer than money, cash back and benefits, able to raise credit score. And what shortcomings should you consider with credit cards? High fees and interest, a possible debt spiral, if payments are missing it may harm credit, comparing credit and debit cards. A credit card and a debit card are not the same despite their similarities. When you use a credit card to make a purchase, you are not utilizing any of your own funds. Instead, you spend the money that the credit card company has given you, which you will then have to pay back, probably with interest. Debit cards are associated with your bank account, albeit they are not exactly the same as prepaid cards. When you make a purchase with your debit card, the money is immediately deducted from your bank account after the transaction is finished. There is nothing left to repay because the money was already taken from your account. On the other hand, credit cards have a direct effect on your credit score. For instance, FICO credit scores base their calculation of your scores on things like history of payments, credit usage, credit mix and age, new credit inquiries. Paying off your credit cards on schedule can raise your score while paying them off late will lower it. Similar to how maintaining a low balance relative to your credit limit can help, 
exceeding your credit card limitations can hurt your credit score. The fraud safeguards offered by debit and credit cards are another important distinction. Credit cards have additional fraud protections under federal law than debit cards do. This graph illustrates your responsibility for fraudulent debit and credit card use. A recent MIT study that looked at the neuroscience of purchasing things found that using credit cards activates the brain's reward system and increases the desire for additional spending. According to Drazen Prelik, study author and professor at the MIT Sloan School of Management, credit card shopping instructs us to step on the gas and causes greater buy urges in the future. Previous studies have revealed that using a credit card as opposed to cash tends to increase spending. In this new study, scientists used MRI machines to examine the brain activity that occurs when people are asked whether they would prefer to pay with cash or a credit card for an item. Participants watched a variety of items on a screen while in the MRI, from video games to cosmetics, that they could add to their shopping cart. They could either use a credit card or $50 in cash to purchase the goods. According to the study's authors, people were more inclined to spend more money overall and were more willing to make pricey purchases with credit as opposed to cash. The MRI revealed that the striatum, a part of the reward system in the brain, was active when participants used credit cards to make purchases. Dopamine is released by the striatum, which is also involved in reward, reinforcement, pleasure, and even addiction. A credit card purchase activates the reward networks in the brain that are activated by all kinds of rewards, according to Prelec. The study's authors claim that credit card cues, such as logos or buy now buttons, essentially activate the pursuit of rewarding products. The reward networks were not activated while paying with cash. What is it with credit cards then? The authors of the study noted that, as a start, the reward network in the brain has been chronically sensitized by earlier experience with credit cards. Prelick stated in the release that the act of inserting that plastic credit card in your hand is associated with joyful purchases. The study's authors noted that prior research had demonstrated that using a credit card may obscure costs. Due to the ability to defer payments, using a credit card allows you to avoid feeling the immediate and obvious effects of your purchases like you would when using cash. It also matters whether you pay with the credit card you use for necessities rather than one you use for activities like dining out and travel. The card you use for restaurants and vacations develops a different hunger for spending than the card you use to buy gas for your car, according to Prelick, who claim that cerebral activity varies depending on the card. People must understand how the neural reward mechanisms at work affect our spending habits as consumers adopt new payment systems, such as contactless payment, he said. You should anticipate paying a lot more money than your peers who have good credit if you rack up credit card debt and damage your credit rating. When you borrow money with double-digit interest rates, it won't help your finances. Credit card issuers impose interest rates on some cards that are more than twice that rate. While interest fees generate a sizable portion of the revenue for credit card companies, fees generate almost as much. You might have to pay an annual fee if you want a credit card with special rewards. If you use your credit card carelessly, you can end yourself paying more in fees than in interest. You might be astonished to see how much the contract favors the credit business if you read it before applying for a credit card. Many people believe their overspending isn't that bad when they receive a credit card bill and only need to make a tiny payment. On the other hand, this small payment will end up costing you a lot of money. The credit card company wants you to spend more than you have because doing so forces you to take out a loan from them at a high interest rate. So what do you think? Do you own a credit card? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel to get our videos regularly and don't forget to click the bell icon to never miss an update. We'll see you at the next one. Until then, peace.